Hi, you're watching Anyverse English. More than a century ago, a sudden mutation began ravaging humanity, transforming the deceased into monstrous beings that waged relentless war against the living. This catastrophic event plunged the world into a nightmarish purgatory. Amidst the chaos, individuals with extraordinary talents, known as the Awakened, emerged as humanity's last line of defense against the mutated horrors. By the year 2145, the mutated beings had united globally, forming an unprecedented force that pushed humanity to its final stronghold. In the ultimate battleground of Huxia's capital, three figures stood their ground. Among them was a girl renowned as a third-order mechanical archer. Beside her stood a person known as a third-order psychic supporter, who grimly remarked, These mutants just keep coming. In front of them, wielding a hammer, stood a third-order heavy hammer warrior, who added, Most of our comrades who are first and second order awaken have fallen. If this continues, even we third orders won't last long. As the two charged forward, the psychic supporter cautioned, Be careful, these creatures have more tricks up their sleeves. And in the next moment, multiple monstrous hands extended and grabbed them. The heavy hammer warrior shouted, Give me a boost, brother. I'll smash these things to pieces. The mechanical archer warned them, The mucus from these third-order mutants conceal psychic powers. The psychic supporter nodded, That's right. We're trapped here. As the monster launched another attack, their eyes widened, realizing, We're done for. Unexpectedly, at that moment, the monster was slashed into multiple pieces. Witnessing the scene, the heavy hammer warrior frowned. What's happening? Then, the torn parts slammed onto the ground. Suddenly, their attention shifted as a figure emerged. They recognized him as, it's one of the god-tier talents, Lord Yinning. He urged, don't be careless. The mechanical archer expressed her gratitude. Thank you for your rescue, Lord Yinning. The psychic supporter added, Thank goodness Lord Yinning arrived. In the next moment, he cautioned everyone, There are still mutants right above Lord Yinning's head. Upon hearing that, Yinning's eyes shifted above his head. The psychic supporter wondered, A type we've never seen before? This presence feels ominously different. Without hesitation, the heavy hammer warrior charged forward, shouting, Humph! How dare you stand above Lord Yinning? I'll smash you to bits. With that, he leapt into the air. A demonic pupil glared from the monster's waist. It shrank, instantly spewing tattooed blood droplets from its mouth, splashing everywhere. The mechanical archer trembled upon witnessing the demise of her teammates. She searched her powers and shouted, Damn it! I'll kill you! Just as she was about to move forward, her eyes widened as she sensed the monster's impending attack. In the next moment, the monster struck. There was no hope left for her, and she accepted that she was about to die. Suddenly, Yinang approached and swiftly engaged the monster. He thought, a single move took down two top-tier third-order team members. This is no ordinary third-order mutant. Then he urged, you retreat first, I'll handle it. The archer heard him and realized, in a fight like this, I'd only be a burden to Lord Yinang. She nodded and expressed her concern, Be careful, Lord Yinang. As she departed, he pushed the monster back with all his strength. But unfortunately, his sword broke into two pieces. Yinang wondered, Just blocking that attack wrecked my sword. I understand now. It's like the mutants that the military has simulated countless times which were supposed to exist only in theory, a fourth-order mutant. To battle such a being, I must unleash my full strength. With that thought, he charged forward with all of his powers. As the two collided, a huge explosion occurred. As the smoke disappeared, Yinring's eyes widened. What? In the next moment, the monstrous being delivered a powerful punch to his chest. The sword slipped from his hands and he fell instantly. Blood spewed from his mouth. So this is a fourth order? It seems we humans know nothing about the power of a fourth order. I'm going to die. I failed to protect this world. I didn't want it to end like this. On the other hand,
The observers trembled. The last hope for the Huaxia war zone, the god tier talent, Yinang, he actually lost. With such forces arrayed against us, how long could we hold? If only we had discovered Yinang sooner, giving him time to grow. Perhaps we could have prevented this nightmare. There is no other way now. Let's go down fighting. Then he commanded, all defense lines in this war zone are breached. Let the Third Order Awakened carry the largest yield nuclear warheads. Even in death, we will die with dignity. Humanity will keep fighting. Forever. And soon, everything around was destroyed. In the blink of an eye, the whole earth was shattered and destroyed. Morning news broadcast. Today is the 61st year of the Apocalypse Calendar, November 6th. Project 337 for the Safe Zone Construction Plan is expected to land today. Breaking news, Safe Zone 67 in the East Sea has been attacked by sea beasts. Local survivors are urged to evacuate immediately. Yinang's eyes opened as he pondered. My head's killing me. Wasn't I just defeated and dead? As he looked around, two people were talking in front of him. What do we do? He seems to be awake. Another one replied. Someone said he couldn't participate in the test because he was infected with a virus. That's why he's been unconscious. But they're testing outside right now. If he causes a scene later, then kill him. The money's already been taken. The other one nodded. Right, after all, he's just a nobody. Not a descendant of an awakened or something. If a small fry like him dies, just say he turned into a mutant. If you stay down, maybe you'll have a chance to survive. Upon witnessing the familiar scenes, Yinang pondered, wasn't this three years ago? I've reincarnated back to the day of the talent test. So the reason I couldn't be tested in my previous life was because someone tampered with it. Those people shouted, enough talk, kill him. Yinang sneered, not this time. Shoot, shoot. With that said, he snatched his gun and moved forward, making a powerful attack that rendered them incapacitated. The other one frowned as Yinang pointed his gun at him, and then he, too, was down. In my previous life, I missed the test and survived by scavenging, wandering for three years before the military discovered I had a god-tier talent. But by then, it was too late. The Huaxia war zone had fallen and without resources for proper growth. Even though I shot up to third order in just seven months, I wasn't even close to being the strongest and yet, I went headfirst into a fight with a fourth order mutant. Mom, Zian, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. But now, there's still time. As long as I pass the test and become the strongest, I can save the people most important to me and end this apocalypse. As Yinang moved forward, an assistant notification popped up. The apocalypse sword god system is now bound. Bound to Yinang. Mission content. Please touch the test crystal within 30 minutes to unlock and activate system functions. Failure to touch the test crystal will result in the system disappearing after 30 minutes. Mission hint. After completing the unlock and activate the system, mission, any sword-related skills you possess will be enhanced a hundredfold, transforming into forbidden sword techniques. He thought, this system is entirely different from the standard apocalypse system that every Awaken had in my previous life. Could this be my golden opportunity? Perhaps due to reincarnation, something has changed? Well, as long as it makes me stronger, any system will do. I must hurry to the test, then find out who's behind all this. The system informed, countdown, 31 minutes 0 seconds. Suddenly, his attention shifted. A few more people arrived and shouted, Who's there? Raise your weapon. Alert. An infected has escaped. The countdown had already started. 30 minutes 59 seconds. Those people surrounded him and urged, Freeze. Hands where I can see them. Yinang observed them and pondered, The leader is a low order awakened. The rest are ordinary people. The best course of action now is to take the leader hostage and force him to take me out of here. With that thought, Yinning instantly snatched his handgun and made a counterattack on the leader. Then he moved forward, taking cover behind him. He pointed the gun at the leader's head and said, Don't move. Move, and I'll shoot. The other people shouted, Let go of the captain. Don't be rash. Another one said, 
Attacking the military in a safe zone is a capital offense. Yinang said, take me to the test square. You've got three seconds to decide, or else you die. The other people wondered, has this kid lost his mind? The leader shouted, what are you doing? An ordinary guy wants to take the test. As Yinang pressed the gun, the leader trembled, wait, there might be some misunderstanding. Let's sort this out. Yinang urged them to move. The leader said, kid, you're playing a dangerous game betting on an awakening. But even if you become awakened, you can't escape death. A hundred years ago, in 2042, the apocalypse descended and the world entered an era of catastrophe. Billions of people, barely one in ten survived. It was then that the first generation of awakened appeared, joining forces with the military to save Huaxia. Today is an important day to test whether you possess talents. Succeed, and you'll become a combat awakened, protecting your territory. Fail, and you'll leave here to live an ordinary life. Representative of the military commission Tianfeng Safe Zone, Liao Tian, announced, Now, starting with the descendants of the awakened. A few descendants moved forward, looking confident for the first class. At that moment, another announcement echoed, Attention, everyone. An infected has taken a hostage and entered the test area. Upon hearing that, the guards looked back and were then smashed, falling outside the entrance area. Yinang walked out, pointing the gun. Liao Tian urged, Drop your weapon and surrender now. If you don't surrender, you'll be shot on the spot. The leader was nervous as everyone had pointed their guns towards him. Yinang shouted, I'm not infected, nor do I wish to disturb the awakening ceremony. I'm here to take the test. Liao Tian shouted, Enough babbling. Seize him immediately. The guards moved forward but stopped as Yinang replied, Under Article 137 of the Safe Zone Regulations, awakened ones are accorded special rights. Violating military orders is a grave offense, but significant contributions can cancel out such offenses. As he was speaking, he was punched in the face by a guard who said, Awakened? You think you're special? As Yinang fell to the ground, everyone surrounded him. This is crazy. You dare talk about articles at a time like this. Liao Tian shouted, Execute him. Right now. As he was just about to be killed, a jet arrived above them. Why is there a supersonic psychic fighter jet here? A figure emerged from the jet. The Tianfeng Military Zone Supreme Commander Grand Marshal, the Second Order awakened Xiao Hai. As he landed on the ground with immense power, the guards frowned, such a strong sense of oppression. The test hasn't even started. Why is the Grand Marshal here? Xiao Hai said, given the military zone's desperate need for high-level awakened, and since he's willing to bid his life, let's see what he's really made of. If he fails to awaken, execute him instantly. Yinang smiled and replied, arrange the test, let's do it now. Xiao Hai urged, everyone else, disperse. Everyone wondered, are they really letting him test? The idea that a commoner could become an awakened is utterly preposterous. Ah, oh, it's nauseating how the lower class always wrongly assumes they have talent. Yinang approached forward for the test, thinking in my past life, I was manipulated and missed the test, making one mistake after another. In this life, I'll start from the first step of the test. I'll control my own destiny. As he placed his hand, a flash of light emerged from it. And soon, a great aura of pressure surged around everywhere. Xiao Hai and Liao Tian were shocked while the onlookers frowned upon witnessing the immense powers waving around. Yinang pondered, spiritual energy infusion, what a familiar sensation. Let's give it a try. The system notified, testing talent, current talent, D-level, testing talent, current talent, C-level, testing talent, current talent, B-level. Upon seeing the sudden changes in levels, Liao Tian was stunned, his levels rising? Does this kid have a high-level talent? The system continued, testing talent, talent, a level. Yinang sneered, spiritual energy is filling my organs. It feels amazing. This testing crystal can be infused with even more spiritual energy. With that, a tremendous power could be observed. Liao Tian said, a commoner with an A-level talent. The odds of this are astronomical. Not even one in ten million could achieve such a thing. Xiao Hao replied, the final test result hasn't appeared yet. Could it be? He has even higher talent? The level is still rising. The onlookers were desperately waiting to see what would happen next. The system announced, testing talent. Current talent. S-level. As the pressure around them increased, Xiao Hao pondered, no, 
something's not right. The crystal hasn't declared the test over, meaning that the test is still ongoing. This guy, Yining, he turns out to be an S-level talent, a potential Third Order Awakened, at this crucial time. Then he commanded, deploy ground armored troops for defense, prevent mutant attacks, deploy psychic fighter jets for military patrol, prevent any accidents, close all routes to the square to non-military personnel, seal the upper airspace. The test was still running. The fighter jets appeared above. The aura was getting higher and higher. In a few minutes, slowly, the aura disappeared. Test is over. Everyone was curious to know about the results. Test level. Shahai sneered. He. He's actually. A pure blood SS level. An SS level. If an S level is the reserve for a third order awakened, then an SS level, without a doubt, can become a third order. It seems the whole Tian Feng is about to undergo a sweeping change. With that thought, he started laughing. Good, good. Ha ha. Tian Feng's safe zone has produced such a talent. The onlookers wondered, you heard that? Getting praised by the Grand Marshal himself. That's like a dream come true. I really envy him. Another one said, people change so quickly. Just a moment ago they said he was nauseating. Shahai shouted, stop it. He might very well be our superior in the future. Meanwhile, Yi Ning looked at him and contemplated. My talent is theoretically the highest level of humanity, an SSS level talent. I didn't expect the testing crystal's limit to only be an SS level. Well, the influence of an SS level is barely enough. What matters now is the mission of the Sword God system. Then he commanded, System, open my panel. The system popped up. Sword God system, loaded. Bound to, Yi Ning. Current effect. Increase of skill power by 1,000%. After learning any sword skill, it will be strengthened unconditionally to level SSS. Extra effect 1. Increase of psychic energy reserve by 10,000%, unlocking the limit of all attributes. Attributes can be increased to the maximum at the same time and no longer be subject to any talent restrictions. Extra effect 2. Every 48 hours, the skill can be used once without any consumption, with an unlimited level. Yuning took a sigh of relief. Phew, mission accomplished. Then a sudden realization struck him. Wait a minute. Even with the efforts of the whole nation back in my previous life, we could only reach two level S and one A level skills. But now, this system can enhance my skills to level SSS like this. Current mission, sword skills acquisition. Mission details, learn as many skills as possible. Mission reward, attribute points for. Warning. It's forbidden to disclose the system's information to the outside world. Elimination upon violation. Upon seeing that, his mouth curled up. Interesting, I have an idea how to test this skill. As he was contemplating, Xiao Hai approached and said, Student Yu Ning, congratulations on your SS talent. Tell us, what reward do you want? This uncle Xiao will definitely get it for you. Yao Tian wondered, Student Yu Ning? But Yu Ning was focused on the system mission, so he didn't answer. Xiao Hai wondered, no response? It seems like he just awakened, so he is still in shock. Then he laughed, ha 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 ha. Uncle Xiao is stunned for a long time just like you. Let's go. Don't stay stunned like that. Come to my office for a talk. Yuning nodded, yes. Later, at Xiao Hai's office. Yuning, you were framed and almost missed your test because of it. I have sent people to take care of all the people involved. I will investigate throughout and give you an explanation. Also, I decided to send you as the first candidate for the seedling program. As long as the high-level verification is passed, there will be a dedicated third-level person as your guide, and resources and equipment will be given to you. Right now, let's first talk about your talent, and Uncle Xiao will help you with your plan. Yuning paused for a moment and thought, I can't tell others about the system, so I have to tell him only about my original talent. Then he replied, a psychic talent, it's the telekinesis of objects. Xiao Hai sneered. Oh, a psychic talent? It's quite rare. You may need experts from the capital to guide you. Good. Yu Ning, what reward do you want? Yu Ning answered, if possible, I want a book on sword skills, Commander Xiao. Xiao Hai said, that's easy. Then he commanded a subordinate, go get a copy, pick one with a higher level. Consequently, the subordinate looked and said, Commander Xiao, this is the highest level among our reserves. Xiao Hai urged, Yu Ning, take it. Yuning expressed, 
Thank you, Commander Xiao. If there's nothing else, I would like to return. Xiao Hai asked. Are you excited to go back to your family and tell them the news? I get it. Go. A few elite soldiers should follow Yining on the clock to ensure his safety. If there are any issues, report directly to me. Also, I want to see the report on why Yining almost lost his chance to take the test within 24 hours. No matter who is involved, arrest them first and talk later. The soldiers nodded. Yes, Supreme Commander. Later, at the Heavenly Wind Safe Zone 6th gathering point. As a military vehicle stopped, Yuning stepped out and said, Seniors can stay here. I can go home on my own. The people around wondered, Hey look, isn't that Yuning? Has he become a big shot? Did he just come in a military vehicle? Another one urged, Keep your voice down. It's definitely something if he is being escorted by so many awakened. As Yuning moved forward, he spotted a girl and called her Xiao on. The girl looked back and said, Brother? She was Yuning's younger sister, Yi Xiao on. At that moment, echoes of past memories flooded his mind. I couldn't protect you back then, forgive me. With resolve, he embraced her, silently vowing, in this life, I'll never let you suffer again. Xiaoan spoke up, breaking the silence, brother, it's been over a year. Weren't you at training camp? How did you manage to leave? Tears welled in Yuning's eyes as he answered, I've completed the test, little sister. Perplexed, Xiaoan asked, why are you crying then? It's nothing. Yi Ning replied, masking his emotions. I'm just overjoyed to see you. Xiaoan insisted, let's head home quickly. Mom's been fretting since you left. Agreeing, Yi Ning nodded. Yes, let's surprise her together. Excitedly, Xiaoan revealed. Guess what, brother? I found some extra parts today. We can trade them for a piece of cake, so you can eat well tonight. Yi Ning chuckled affectionately. You're too kind. But tonight, we'll all eat well, I promise. Eyes gleaming, Xiaoan inquired, Really? Will there be meat too? Absolutely, Yining assured her, As much as you want. Later, at the dining table, Xiaoan exclaimed, Wow, brother, this is amazing. Their mother inquired, Could you share about the process of the awakening test? Many neighbors are curious. I passed, Mom. I am now awakened, Yining replied. Really? His mother gasped in disbelief. Yu Zheng confirmed, Yes. Xiaoan chimed in, absolutely, brother. You truly make us proud. Brother, now that you've passed, will we be able to have meals like this every day? Xiaoan asked hopefully. Yu Zheng nodded, yes, we will. Later, in the stillness of midnight, as Xiaoan and their mother slept soundly, Yu Zheng quietly approached the door. System, activate skill book learning, he commanded. The system responded, mission completed. For attribute points were obtained. Level C skill detected, stab sword skill. The skill was updated successfully. Sword skill, stab, was enhanced to sword storm, an SSS level skill. Sword storm required the consumption of 4,500 points of spiritual energy. It summoned a torrent of sword chi, delivering a devastating blow to the target area within a brief period. This skill boasted super speed, armor breaking capabilities, destruction, decomposition, and other traits. A note cautioned, the destructive power of this skill has increased by 10,000% from its current level. Please use with caution. Upon witnessing the enhancement, Yi Ning was taken aback. It's actually upgraded from C to SSS. Even though I've seen many things in my previous life, nothing of this scale, he reflected. One use requires 4,500 spiritual points? Wait. Current talent, level 0. Will, 15 points. Spiritual Energy Reserve, 1,500 points. Level 2. Will, 30 points. Spiritual Energy, 3,000 points. Promoted to Level 1 Junior Elevated. Will, 20 points. Spiritual Energy, 2,000 points. Level 3. Will, 40 points. Spiritual Energy, 4,000 points. Hmm. If I don't count the equipment bonus, using Sword Storm once. Theoretically, I need to reach the third intermediate level. Fortunately, I can only use the skill every 48 hours. Otherwise, even if all my spiritual energy was drained, I wouldn't be able to use it currently. The troublesome thing is, the system prohibits me from disclosing any information related to it. So, I can't explain the source of my skills or power to others. In other words, until I'm promoted to the second level, 
I must avoid using Sword Storm in front of others. Now is a critical time for the commander to enroll me in the program, so it's better not to cause any trouble. But this is a high-level skill never seen in my previous life. I really want to use it right away. Yes, isn't that in the military region? With the onset of the apocalypse, the world became saturated with spiritual energy, leading to the emergence of various random dungeons scattered across the land. As more awakened individuals arose and conquered these dungeons, the human race gradually amassed relevant information about them. The military, in particular, allocated significant manpower and resources to research and develop test dungeons, which served as crucial venues for combat training. In these controlled environments, fatal dangers could be avoided, and security measures were taken to the extreme. Considering this, Yuning contemplated, I can just go to a test dungeon and try it out, right? Later, at the Heavenly Wind Safety Zone test dungeon. Yuning requested, please open a low-level dungeon for one person, any type is okay. The attendant hesitated, recognizing Yuning as an individual with an SSS level talent. The commander said we can open a dungeon for him, he thought aloud. But should you really go alone? With your current strength, it's very dangerous to enter alone. Yuning assured him, I'll only enter to conduct a small test. I'll come out soon. The process commenced, and within seconds, Yuning found himself inside the test dungeon. Current scene, city. Danger level, low. Surveying his surroundings, he mused, this was constructed shortly after the apocalypse. So, the weapon issued in this dungeon is a dagger. With a swift motion, he accessed the system and retrieved a dagger. Just what I need. The weaker the weapon, the easier it is to test my skills. Suddenly, his attention was drawn to movement at the side, where a monster was observing him. Reacting swiftly, Yuning dodged the creature's attack effortlessly. You came here on your own. Give me points. With a precise strike, he dispatched the monster in an instant. Not bad. Ha. Huh. It's time to hunt. Advancing cautiously, he approached a door, which he slowly opened. Another monster lurked behind it. There's one more. The creature roared as Yuning swiftly slashed it down. Reflecting on his encounter, Yi Ning realized, even if my current physical state isn't optimal, my previously obtained combat skills make these zombies easy targets. It seems to truly test my skills. I'll have to venture into the region. Deciding to exit the building through the stairwell, Yi Ning prepared for the challenges that lay ahead. After passing through the shops, the boss's region must be in the square to the right, Yi Ning strategized. As he arrived, numerous monsters roamed the area. Suddenly, their attention shifted, and they all rushed towards him. Yuning swiftly backed off, lamenting, it's a pity that no matter how many normal zombies you kill, your spiritual energy won't increase. He climbed over an ambulance, determined to find and defeat the boss. I still need to find the boss, and I have to get rid of you first. With determination, he jumped over the boundary. Suddenly, the system prompted, boss region found. Morning. Peak level 1 mutant, corpse chewer, approaching. As the monster appeared, Yuning sneered, do it fast. Charging forward, he warned, if your skills aren't as strong as needed. With a swift movement, he dashed, leaving his hand pointed with the dagger in the air. No matter how embarrassing it is, you can simply exit the dungeon. The system signaled, skill ready for use. With that, he unleashed the sword storm, shattering everything in an instant. As the smoke cleared, Yuning marveled, it ended with just one hit? If I hadn't come to test the skill, I would have never known how strong it was. With this power, even a weak peak level 2 mutant can be eliminated. And now, I am just at level 0. The system promptly announced, you have killed a peak level 1 mutant. 5 spiritual energy points obtained, test dungeon, 50% deduction. Additionally, Yuning acquired white equipment, agile hand gloves. Commenting on the experience gained, Yuning remarked, the spiritual stones from the military region aren't as rewarding as those from normal dungeons. And I've never heard of a test dungeon granting equipment before. Where did this come from? The system responded, agility plus one, speed and shooting stability increased by 15%. As Yuning donned the agile hand gloves, he reflected, in this apocalyptic world, even an ordinary level two awakened might struggle to obtain a full set of white equipment. So, acquiring one piece is a promising start. My mission here is accomplished, and I was fortunate to obtain equipment as well. There's no point in lingering any longer. It's time to exit the dungeon. I'm done. Here's the token. Thank you. As he departed, the operator speculated, he came out so quickly. 
He must have been frightened by the zombies, right? Suddenly, someone shouted from behind, who let that team into the test dungeon? Didn't I say you can't let them in? This test dungeon is very difficult. How many times do I have to remind you? The operator responded, Brother, no team entered it. We wouldn't dare. The old man was incredulous, asking, No one? No team was in? Then how did the mutant die? Even equipment was dropped. There's no way a level 2 Awaken got that board to enter this dungeon, right? The operator explained, Yu Ning was the only one in the dungeon just now. He said he was going to test something. Did he mean he was testing if he could beat the dungeon boss? Later, as Yu Ning strolled through the market streets, shopkeepers called out their wares. Selling guns, selling guns. Give me 7.5 kilograms of flour, and I'll give you 20 rounds of ammunition, one exclaimed. Another vendor advertised, fried mantis, 0.5 kilograms per credit, on sale. Yu Ning pondered, although I was able to defeat the peak level 1 mutant with ease, the situation is still dire. Suddenly, a kid ahead warned, hurry up, the patrol is coming. As the police arrived, they urged, scram, scram, whose child is this? Watch out. At that moment, Yu Ning remembered, not to mention the disaster a year later. The Heavenly Wing safe zone will become a scorched wasteland, strewn with corpses due to a large-scale attack by level 3 mutants. In 10 days, a zombie riot will erupt in the urban area of Heavenly Wind City, forming a tide of zombies that will then assail the Heavenly Wind safe zone. The danger hovering over Mother and Xiaoan remains imminent. I must become stronger, faster. At the Central Army Group headquarters of the Capital Safe Zone, an urgent report has arrived regarding the discovery of a level SS talent in the Heavenly Wind safe zone. Has everyone reviewed the report? Question one official. A level SS talent? Pure blood. This is a promising find, exclaimed another. Yu Ning, a level SS talent, has psychic abilities. The figure at the center remarked, given the recent casualties among the level 3 individuals, this talent is a valuable addition to our ranks. We need to expedite his training and allocate necessary resources promptly, suggested one individual. Another proposed, should we consider integrating him directly into the capital military region and appointing him as a commanding instructor? The mustached individual countered, are you suggesting bypassing the impenetrable ravine between levels 3 and 4? The white-haired individual spoke up, up to now, none of us high-level awakened individuals whether it's the four great commanders or the dozen or so peak level three members in the military. Even our commander-in-chief has been able to reach level four. That's because we weren't trained with the best resources from the very beginning. The one with the mustache nodded in agreement, yes, starting like this is a good idea and worth trying. The commander announced, level SS talent Yu Ning has been selected for the seedling program and will be trained as our top prospect. He will be immediately transferred to the capital military region. An individual wearing spectacles interjected, I object. The mustached individual inquired, why? The commander pressed, why would you reject such talent? Is the fourth military region going to start arguing again? The bespectacled individual explained, didn't you read the last paragraph of the urgent report? He has awakened a psychic system. In the past 70 years of our records, there has been no level 3 psychic system. Those who have awakened the psychic system have the weakest physical abilities and are generally in auxiliary positions. Without the protection of other awakened individuals, fighting alone is suicidal. As for the single-player promotion mission, advancing from level 1 to level 2 depends on luck. And as you all know, from peak level 2 to level 3. The commander acknowledged, the number of successful promotions is low. That's true. Let's diminish Yu Ning's importance. Resources are precious and cannot be wasted. The next day, Xiao Hai pondered, candidate Yu Ning's selection was denied, and his importance was lowered. Well, a psychic system can't reach level 3. The evaluated potential is only equivalent to level A or even lower. The significance isn't that high. At that moment, a subordinate arrived and inquired, Commander Xiao, do we still want to proceed with the same treatment we decided on before? Xiao Hai responded, it's been confirmed from above that he has no potential. In that case, cancel his original plan and withdraw the personnel assigned to protect him. The subordinate pressed further. Additionally, the investigation into who obstructed Yu Ning's test was halted due to the suspect's suicide. Should we still pursue it? Xiao Hai replied, I agreed to it before because of his potential. But now that it's gone, 
What else is there to investigate? Later, the subordinate delivered the news, Yining, the expert's final decision has been conveyed. Your potential is only level 2, and the safety zone has canceled your plan. There's no need to participate in the seedling program. All notices have been given. Goodbye. Yining wondered, how is it possible that my potential is only level 2? My talent is as high as level SSS. Even if the test indicated level SS, it should be enough to prove my potential. Then he suddenly realized, I got it. The heavenly wind safe zone is being besieged by a large number of mutants. At this point, all psychics awakened are still regarded as worthless. And the fact that an awakened can't reach level 4 because of their insufficient psychic stats, so they have to practice their psychic system, is still not known. I didn't expect that in this world. Something like this would prevent the seniors from seeing my true value. Should I go to the capital, tell them I'm a level SSS talent, and that psychic awakening is the key to reaching level 4? Whatever. No one will believe my words. What I should do right now is find a way to quickly restore my strength to level 3. By then, all these issues will be solved. I have the sword storm. This start is much better than my previous life. Let's go and start hunting mutants. Later, in the wild forest. As he was passing through, others around called to him and asked, Hey, the guy with the rifle, do you want to join our team? Let's team up to hunt down level 1 mutants. You'll get some experience upon success. Another assured him, follow us, we will keep you safe. Yuning replied, form a team? Level 1 mutants don't yield that much experience to begin with. With so many people, how can we get enough? No thanks. Edward shouted in anger, hey boy, you're bold. We saw that you're alone and we wanted to help you, but you really don't know how to appreciate it. Don't forget how big the world is now that you have awakened. We are kind enough to take you. Don't you think your attitude is a bit too much? Yuning gave him a cold look and shouted, Scram. The person backed off and pondered, Ah, his eyes are so cold. It feels like I am being stared at by a beast. Only those who have experienced life and death countless times have such eyes. This youngster is truly strange. As Yuning reached a certain distance, he said, Now, this forest of decay is one of the most dangerous places outside the heavenly wind safe zone. If I remember correctly, there should be two level 1 mutants in the deepest region of the forest, and one of them is a peak level 1 mutant. To get promoted from level 0 to level 1, you need to kill three level 1 mutants. In the test dungeon, I killed a peak level 1 mutant. Although the experience was halved, it's still equivalent to a normal level 1. I have to kill the two mutants in this forest to level up. As he spoke, Yuning swiftly grabbed his gun as he sensed a monster behind him. I must try not to use the sword. Sword Storm can kill them in one move. Not only do I need psychic experience, but I also need to strengthen my physical abilities. Those who have awakened the psychic system are physically weak. I have to change this stereotype in the eyes of the seniors. Not just me, but those who are capable of reaching level 3 must find a way to psychically awaken. Otherwise, it will be too late when the level 4 mutant arrives. I must find a way to make the seniors aware of the importance of the psychic system. As the shots of gunfire echoed through the forest, the crows above moved. Their attention shifted in that direction. One of them asked, Did you hear that? It's gunfire. Another wondered, Could it be that youngster? The third one said, It came from somewhere close to the tree demon. It sounds like it's not far from here. Everyone, run. Don't look for gains. That boy is asking for death. Meanwhile, Yuning collided with the demon tree. The system prompted, Peak level 1 mutant tree demon, is approaching. Middle level 1 mutant, binder, is approaching. Yuning sneered, two at once. As the peak level demon tree arrived, Yuning wondered, where is the other one? The only one I can sense and see is the one in front of me. Something's different. As the monster attacked multiple times, Yuning sneered, it's so fast. Continuously dodging the demon's attacks and running everywhere, Yuning heard the demon wondering, where did it go? Suddenly, Yuning looked back as the demon was about to crush him into the ground. He jumped to the other side, somehow saving himself, and wondered, that giant bulky form can actually jump? And the second one hasn't appeared yet. Is it planning a sneak attack? There's no time to escape, no time to think about it. I can only resist. With that thought, he slammed his gun on the monster's hand, causing it to scream in pain. At that moment, Yining spotted something on the demon's neck. Suddenly, 
he was counterattacked by the demon and flew back several distances. He exclaimed, That thing I saw just now. Our team was able to defeat a middle level 2 mutant with ease, but we didn't expect to face off against the 2 level 1 mutant. All members of the team were seriously injured, and 2 were even lost. If the second one hadn't been hidden so well, we wouldn't have ended up like that. In my previous life, the Tree Demon and the Binder were killed by an elite military team. Their words at that time made me misunderstand. I always thought the other one was hiding somewhere, but the answer was right in front of me. The Binder is on the Tree Demon's body. It turns out that the Binder's roar is the power buff of the Tree Demon. It doesn't seem to last that long though. And when the buff is renewed, the Tree Demon takes a step back. There's no change in movement, it's still the same attack pattern as before. If I'm correct, it will jump to my side again. After I saw through your scheme, this trick became your biggest flaw, Binder. With that said, he dashed at the demon tree and instantly shattered the Binder through his dagger, piercing it inch by inch. As the Binder's body burst, Yining jumped out, having extracted the main part of the Binder. He remarked, when you aren't attached to the tree demon, you're ridiculously weak, Binder. In the next moment, he crushed the leftover part with his hands. The demon tree screamed in pain and instantly attacked. Yining grabbed his dagger and made a counterattack, shattering the demon tree's hand into multiple pieces. Then he moved forward, saying, Who would have thought that without the binder's buff, the tree demon's strength wouldn't reach peak level 1? As the demon tree saw him approaching, it trembled and became scared. While charging forward, Yining observed the demon tree and said, Stop struggling. Goodbye, tree demon. With that, he swiftly slashed the demon tree's eyes, causing it to burst in an instant. The system prompted, You have killed middle level 1 mutant binder, gaining psychic experience. You have killed peak level 1 mutant tree demon, gaining psychic experience. You have obtained the material, tree demon's bark, white. You have obtained the equipment, dead tree armor, white. You have obtained the material, giant claw, white. You have obtained a psychic fruit, corpse fruit, x1. Dead tree armor, white. Effects upon use. Increases the user's constitution by plus 130% and grants 5% resistance to firearms and physical abilities. Negative effect. When attacked by fire, the user will suffer an additional 5% fire damage. Equipment comment. The human physique combined with the tree's support creates a formidable defense against forest-based threats. Yuning pondered, although it wasn't ideal, it's still good combat practice, and I got something out of it. However, there's still the psychic fruit too. Psychic fruit, corpse fruit, white. Effects upon use. Permanently increases the user's constitution by one point and provides a 20% increased recovery rate of HP. Do you want to use it? Yuning nodded, yes. As the psychic fruit appeared, Yuning's eyes flashed. For many awakened, upgrading by a major level only adds four points. After I defeated those two bosses, I have already improved. The results are pretty good. Meanwhile, the three were shocked. The boss psychic pressure. It vanished? Another said, could it be that gunshot? The third one wondered, is it a level two awakened? But there is no one else here but us and that boy. The brown-haired one replied, that kid felt so wicked when we met him back then. Could it be him? That's outrageous. Thirty minutes later, at the inner city of the Heavenly Wind Safe Zone in the section for purchasing mutant materials, Yining entered the shop named Genuine Transaction High Price Acquisition. The shop owner greeted him and asked, Hello, are these the materials you wish to trade? Yining placed the bag on the counter and said, Take all of them and give me a price. Simultaneously, he pondered, Although I can also use the system's trading channel, no resources should be wasted at this level. Money has to be handled with care so this type of trade is more suitable for me. The assistant girl greeted him and said, Hello, so four pieces of your materials come from a peak level one mutant. They can be used to make one piece of armor and offensive equipment. The estimated price is around 697 credit points. It looks like this is your first time with us, so we can purchase your materials at a preferential price for new customers, which will be 700 credit points. Would that be okay with you? Upon hearing the price, Yuning pondered, in this apocalypse, 700 credit points can buy you more than 200 kilograms of meat or make 7 to 8 mercenary soldiers work for you. 
It's an extremely high price. Then he nodded. Yes, just settle the bill, shopkeeper. The girl said, the credit points have been transferred. Please check. The shop owner came forward respectfully and handed the card, asking, we also work with equipment, supplies, and firearms. We even offer customizations for any special requirement of the client. Would you need anything else, sir? Yuning received the card and asked, Do you have any skill books? Sword skills. The shop owner replied, We do, but their level is relatively low. Actually, there are only level D skills, here and in the entire Heavenly Wind safety zone in general. The girl informed him, We have three books. Would you like to buy them? As Yuning looked into it, the information displayed. Level D skill. Mad Slash, Sword Skill Skill Effect After expending a portion of your stamina and psychic energy, a singular power-up attack is launched. It causes 1.2 times strength damage. Level D Skill, Sword Cut, Sword Skill Skill Effect After expending a portion of your stamina, your attack speed will be accelerated. During the first attack, it causes 1.2 times agility damage. Level D Skill, Continuous Slash, Sword Skill Skill effect. After a high consumption of your stamina and psychic energy, it causes two rapid slashes. Each attack causes 0.6 times the strength damage, and it has a chance of causing an additional bleeding effect. Upon carefully observing all of them, he thought, they are all at the lowest level, all of them are useless. Although I don't have to worry about the power of the changed skills of the system, the effects of the changed skills are still closely related to the original. So, I can't choose a random skill. Just like with the Sword Storm skill, even if it's terrifyingly strong, there's still a short delay in its release. It's not as flexible as the area it covers is too large. If I encounter a high-level mutant who is agile in the future, once it's able to escape the Sword Storm, it will be able to confront me. The shop owner asked, Don't you like them, dear client? Actually, if you're not in a hurry, we can get skill books transferred from other safe zones for you. As long as you're willing to pay the handling fee, we can find level C books. If you don't specify your demand for sword skills, level B is fine too. Yuning replied, No need. I want that sword cut skill. Thinking, I want to see what such an acceleration skill can be changed into. The shop owner seemed to be dissatisfied, and he pondered, Someone capable of selling peak level 1 mutant material is actually interested in these useless skills? Is it possible that he is just rich and headstrong? Whatever, no point in thinking about it. Then he said with a smile, Sword cut skill. 600 credit points, give the skill book to our dear client. The girl placed the skill book and said, Here is your purchase. Yuning took the book and departed. The shop owner said from behind, Take care, please visit us again. As Yuning walked out of the shop, he said, I still have 100 credit points left. Let's buy some yummy food for Xiaoan. Later, at his house, Xiaoan's eyes flashed, and she asked, Brother, why did you bring so much delicious food again? Yuning replied, I am an awakened now. Didn't I tell you last time that good things will keep happening in the future? Well, I picked some snacks just for you. In the apocalypse, it's no longer so easy to ensure your survival. So, even snacks are a super high in luxury. Shawan said, Wow, brother. I heard that only officials have snacks at home. No one in our region has seen snacks. Yuning patted his head and replied, Eat. You will get a lot of them in the future, too. It's a promise. Later at night, as Xiaoan fell asleep, Yining murmured, Mom won't be coming back from working overtime today, and Xiaoan is already asleep. Time to learn the skill. He commanded, Sword God System. The sword cut skill flashed, and the system prompted, The level D skill book, Sword Cut, has been acquired. Current skill slot, February 4th. Skill change, Heavenly Light Rift, Sword Cut, level SSS. Yining felt the power surging through his body. Skill effect. After expending 4,000 Psychic Points, an Instant Slash is launched. This attack gains a 600% Strength and Agility boost lasting for one second. The attack is accompanied by a Destructive Sword Aura, which can cause an irregular limb-crushing effect on the first hit target, with a certain probability of triggering a critical kill effect. Upon reading that, Yining exclaimed, There is a 600% Agility boost, and even if it's for one second, it can still make a huge difference. I really made the right choice. Next, I still need to find a place to test it. Where should I go? Oh, I remember. When it comes to speed, that place is the most suitable. Two hours later, 
original Heavenly Wind Outskirts, Jinyuan Middle District. It seems that no matter whether it's my previous life or this one, this region is a place no one comes to. But back then, I accidentally discovered a level 2 mutant hidden here that could almost reach full speed and agility. It also had a piece of extremely valuable blue equipment. Great, I am stuck. His attention shifted as a zombie appeared behind him. In the next moment, the zombie dashed forward, revealing its disgusting mouth. Yuning grabbed his dagger and instantly chopped the zombie. Then, he said, fortunately, it was just a zombie. If it was a crawler, the consequences would have been disastrous. Fighting it in this toxic swamp would be hell. So we'll have to change places with haste. 